Hello, this is Terry Duco sitting here. Uh, we previously, what, maybe an hour ago, posted a photo of uh, we're sitting out here in the kitchen in a wheelchair. But this is such an auspicious event, I wanted to actually do a Facebook Live with you. As you know, this is usually the time we're on the radio live. But since I've had my little cancer vacation, which is coming maybe upon a year of life. In Almost a year. Um, May 28th is when you went into the hospital. Yeah. It'll be the one year it can call and anniversary of getting my cancer diagnosis in which we uh, received the very good news that I am now in the home of cancer free. Uh, my doctor cured it 100% has been gone since December. Unfortunately, I do have a second cancer. It's a throat cancer that I have a tumor in my throat. So we're working on getting that done. But the lymphoma, which was also in my throat and in my chest, is gone. It has been gone since... Uh, December, and we thank God we got it well and we a little emotional. To Dr. Tupoli for taking care of that, all of you out there and giving me your love and support, your donation to our GoFundMe. This is a big thing for me today. I wanted to tell you and share it and do the video in addition to the photo because this is the first time that uh, I've been in this kitchen for a year. I was in the hospital for three months. I was in a coma for three weeks. I never went anywhere further than the hospital and back home with which transport was carrying it all the way back and forth. For my uh, chemo treatment to cure my lymphoma. But this is the first time I've been in my own damn kitchen for a year, almost a year. It's a big deal. The reason I came out here today is because we were blessed enough with help from you and also help with uh, income tax donation. Hopefully you guys got one too. We were lucky to get one. Thanks to the great job that Tiffany has. That allowed us to get a new hospital bed because the hospital bed you had was like a prison bed. It was terrible. It was horrible. It was all metal, all metal construction. He would, he would yeah, raise it or lower it in the middle of the night. And I sleep kitty corner to him in case he needs me. And I would hear, I was like, oh no, that has to go. <laughs> Either you were in Transylvania or in prison. Or yeah. It was terrible. It reminded me of a prison but bed. We were lucky. I, in fact, walk in, show him the new bed and come back. By the way, bed. Ghosty's watching. He says, way to go, Hi, Terry. Bye, buddy. All right. So. Here's my new bed. This our, well, that's our Christmas tree that's still up. So this is the new bed. We ha I haven't put the sheet on it or made it up or any of that stuff. But, oh. Hopefully I'm not dirtying my floor. I just mopped. Oh, well. Um, that's the new bed right there. So I have to make it up. Terry hasn't tried it out yet. Terry wants me to jump on it first and see how it goes <laughs> before he does. <laughs> and don't make a joke like he wants to weight test it to see if I don't knock it down a little bit. It's not that hard. <laughs> You're just as thin as I am. Uh, Terry has lost a lot of weight. We hold, hold, lot hold your arms up. So I want you guys to look at this. Look at all this space in here. All this space in here. Terry, used fit he used to chair. fit tight in the chair and oh, fill God. it up. This is my kids in the hall shirt. <laughs> Those of you who are kids in the hall fans. That chick I'm going to do. But anyway, uh, thanks to the income tax uh, refund. refund that we got, we were able to get that bed, which here's the good news. The other bed they took out in here, the one you saw in the other Facebook Live videos where I opened my birthday presents, cost us $500 a month. Rental. It was a rental. We own this bed. We're going to save $500 a month because we own it. And it was paid for by income tax refunds. Yeah. And your donations too. By the way. So like, yeah. If that wasn't enough, I got really good news. If it wasn't enough, we're going to save $500 a month uh, because I am now in a wheelchair. This is the first time I've gotten in a wheelchair, in my own chair, by myself. When I was in a chair before, it was called a walking chair. It's a chair that walks downstairs. It's run by a motor, you know, we're three levels here. Uh, it was, I was put in a chair by them, by the Armenian gorillas they sent out here. <laughs> big guys, you know, they weren't all big guys, some were idiots. But this is the first time I'm in my own chair that I own that I got in myself today because I had to get out of bed to get the new bed. They took the rental bed out of here. This bed we own, we're gonna save five hundred dollars a month. But because I now own this chair, tell them how much we were paying for transport before and what's gonna happen. We were paying anywhere from twelve to fourteen hundred dollars per trip 
And when he was doing chemo, he had to do two days in a row. So that was, uh, even at the low end, $1,200 a day. It was $2,400 a month. That wasn't counting times he needed to go down there for MRIs or scans or blood work or consultations, uh, other things like that. So um, now that he can get in and out of his own chair, um, we have found somebody that with the remainder of the income tax refund and also donations from you guys, we're going to be able to hire this person to cement a basically a sidewalk that goes from these uh, double sliding glass doors and if you can see because it's dark out here now but the sliding glass doors it goes out onto a little patio and then if you go out there that's our backyard and it actually goes around the house and all the way through to our front driveway. Um, and so it's a little bit of an incline, but it's definitely doable. So we found somebody who's going to cement a sidewalk that goes from those doors around the side of the house to Basically the front right to the front driveway. Um, so I will be able to get Terry out of the house and to the driveway myself. Because, tell him this, the only other way out of this house as we're up two levels, mm -hmm. Just point the camera outside and see up and show them the stairway down. That's what I had to do before. Yeah, so before, because we didn't have, Terry couldn't get in the wheelchair himself and we didn't have the sidewalk, we would have to pay the gurney transport to either put him in a gurney and carry him or use a stair climbing chair to get down those front stairs. Or the only other way out of the house on this level is these stairs, which is quite steep he does have a, a electric uh elevator chair but if you guys see it's pretty narrow and that's a big drop off so we don't want him to start using that until he's more stable like you know uh with his balance and stuff because this is a very narrow way to do it and if he missteps he would fall so yeah so and i so, um, and the only other way is the spiral staircase out the front. Which is up two floors. So, because he couldn't walk those, we were, that's why we were having to pay the $1,200 per trip. Um, and even if he could get into their stair climbing chair himself, because they were having to use their equipment, they charged us the same price. So, now that we're going to be able to get the sidewalk paved that goes around through the back door around the house, he won't have to deal with any stairs because it is a, a slight incline and it declines down to the uh, driveway. And I'll be able to get him out to the driveway myself, so we'll only have to have somebody come with a van and pick him up. It'll be what they call wheelchair transport, which is supposed to be drastically cheaper, and it better be. Or Tiffany will be getting a van with a car payment because if it's not cheaper, then it might be cheaper to just get a, a wheelchair accessible van. So, so we're going to say how much transport approximately? Say it again. I'm sorry, I got distracted by a comment from oh, Tim. Okay. What? Well, uh, Tim, nobody's wheezing. That's Imhotep upstairs who's crying because he wants to come out of the cat room. Uh, what were you saying? Uh, let's go to run down what we're going to be saving for. Part so we're going to be saving five hundred dollars a month on the bed rental. And it, anywhere from twelve to twenty four hundred dollar a month on gurney transport, so we'll say twenty four hundred. So about three thousand dollars a month. Because we don't have a rental yet, mm -hmm. we own the net, and because the guy's coming out here and doing a pathway, which will allow me, even though I'm two floors up, yeah, to be able to go around the side of the house in this wheelchair out the front to where the transport guys. Yeah, some of these guys are really stupid. You have no idea. <laughs> they almost killed me a hundred times. They won't even have to come in the house anymore. They're going to move me outside. Yeah. Now, here's the good news. There's more? Yeah. Okay. Here's what I'm emotional about. When I go out this patio door and I go around this little pathway of cement that our friend's making us, and he gave us a break on this. He's helped us out. He's a Vietnam vet. He understands my problems, and he wanted to help, and he gave us a big break in price for us to be able to even do this. 
most of it coming out of them are income tax debt, but a little bit of our own money in. So like, you know, those of you who are giving, we thank you so much. If, if we still want to give, and we're giving even a dollar, we still need a little help. And we'll put the link to the GoFundMe at the bottom of this video. So, you know, if, if anybody can still give, we, we still need your help. We appreciate so much. I've come so far. From somebody who's in a coma for three weeks almost died. We're going to be able to take this around and go out the front. When you get at the end of it, you're in the driveway. The driveway goes into the garage. Guess what's in the garage? In March, I'm going to be back in the studio. You don't know what that means to me. I'm a broadcaster that's been doing it for 45 years now. 47. 47 years. <laughs> 47, 47 years. 47 years now. They got cancer in my throat. I'm like Dick Clark. He had a stroke. He couldn't talk, but he still did it. I'm trying to do the same thing. I have a trach in my throat. My my throat's cut open. I have a pipe in my throat to breathe. I'm on oxygen still, even though it's a lower grade oxygen. I've never been on. This be on 10. Now it's on like three. But I'm still doing the shows. I'm doing it from the hospital bed. I've been doing it from the hospital bed. But in March, this magical pathway, like the yellow brick road to Oz, is like we still remember. I should I should paint it. We should paint it. I yellow. should paint it the, to be the yellow brick road. We decided we have celebrities come out to do the show. They're going to put their hands in some water, put their hands in paint, and put them on the walk -up. I'm going to be able to go around the house, through the garage, and I'm going to be in the studio in March, and hopefully we'll be able to be back to doing the show once a week. If not, every other week, like we're doing now, but hopefully back to once a week, be able to have guests again. As long as my health keeps up, God keeps blessing me. And as long as I don't run into rattlesnakes and coyotes when I go outside. <laughs> we live in the wilderness and out of the uh, Los Angeles forest up here. So you know, we're in the mountains and everything. We've got the other wildlife. We have a resident squirrel. But like I said, thank you to all of you that helped me. God's definitely blessed me. and It's helped me so much to know that you guys have been there. This is a, like Joe Biden said, this is a big fucking deal. <laughs> right. He said that thing. Yes. They, they drafted Obamacare. Not that I like Joe Biden. I'm not a good fan. But uh, I'm just saying that I've come a long way. It's a big deal. This is the first time I've been in my kitchen for almost a year. It's almost my year anniversary. My diagnosis. I've already eaten one of the two cancers. And like I said, look at this. I can even move this damn thing. Now. Don't Ooh. roll over my foot. Yeah. I don't want to like, pull my holes either. But yeah, so uh, this thing will hopefully be built within the next Week or two, uh, we're thinking it'll take about three weeks. Sometime in March. We're not going to say. Man, I don't the goal is to have the sidewalk done by March eighth. And, and but we haven't even ordered the supplies yet, so we, we got to get a, a ramp because uh, there's one spot in the garage because we go in the garage. That'll be here on Thursday. The first part's garage, and there's a cement slab that's the entryway to the studio. The studio's in the garage, but it's just, it's its own room. It's a separate room in the garage. It's a garage studio, like most. Of your old early rock bands, they started out with a garage studio. It is a garage studio, but it's its own room. It has a door, as you saw. It's a separate room. Go ahead and close the door. It's not in the garage. You're in a separate room built inside the garage. But there's a metal, uh, not metal, but it's a concrete slab that we have to get up on. We can get ramped in. And on that slab is something else we want to tease you about. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to be posting the pictures, you're going to see what is down there on the slab that is waiting to welcome me. For my return back to the studio, we don't know if he's going to stay down there or come up here. But we have a visitor. We have a visitor. Is here to welcome me back to the real call radio and the real call radio studios. Downstairs, uh, we're in the middle. There's an upstairs. It's downstairs. We're three stories here. We have the upstairs. It's in the middle part, which is the living room. Downstairs, we're in studios where I'm going to be able to go. I have not been there in almost a day. What, what, what's down there? Is it a mystery box? It's a mystery box. It's a mystery crate. Have you guys seen Creep Show? Remember when they delivered Fluffy? Yeah. It's a big It is crate. giant. It's the size of Tiffany. It's bigger than Tiffany. It's bigger than Tiffany. I'll post pictures. Uh, I'll post pictures Take in the comment of the video. Can you do that without falling down? I don't, I don't, I can't down. guarantee I won't fall right, down. Don't fall down. Tim, I want to let you know that Imhotep is fine. He's, he's just... He's just wants, to come out just wants to come out. We had to put him in the room because the guys were here 
installing the bed and I did not want Imhotep to get outside and to end up becoming Coyote Chow. So he's in the cat room, which is a giant room with a bunch of cat toys and everything a cat could desire. He's just wanting to come out, but he's fine. Okay, here we go. There's the studio. Here's the crate. Now, see, when I said it's a crate, let me make sure I don't fall. I wasn't joking. It's a crate. For perspective, that's the studio door. That's a normal size door. And that's the crate next to it. So it's pretty tall. What do we think that means? Who knows? Does anybody know what that is? And it goes back pretty far too. For perspective, that's my hand. So, pretty big. It's on a pallet. Me and the delivery guy had to push it up the driveway and get it up on this stoop ourselves. So, that's the mystery box. All right, we're coming back upstairs. Okay. We had all the good luck today. Unfortunately, we had one bad thing happen, which always does. Those two knows about this kind of stuff. Uh, one day when I was being brought home by transport from Los Angeles, and Tiffany uh, drove up to the hospital in her own car. And sometimes she'll come by herself and she has some prescriptions or whatever. And I'll go one way and she'll go the other way and I'll be transported she'll be in the car. Uh, her car popped out. Remember we told you guys? On the freeway. On the freeway. Uh, I was going 65 miles and all of a sudden the power stopped and my car just came to a dead stop in the third lane of a five lane freeway. So she called me up and I'm in transport and I'm in front of the house waiting for her to get home. She let me in. I didn't have the keys. She's like, yeah, I'm stranded. I'm still in Santa Clarita where you're in Lake Hughes where you are. I'm like, shit. So she had to call her friend who helped us out and pick her up. And, and you want to get the car fixed us how much? A lot of money. Uh, $1,900. So $1,900. Guess what happened yesterday? Car's dead. And it's only been how long? It's only been, I looked it up. I got the repair done on October 17th. So November, December, January, February. It's been four months. And in that time, I have only driven it one time a long distance, one time to L.A., which was in November. I drove it to LA one time in November. Other than that, I have not driven it other than maybe twice to go to our post office, which is literally five minutes away. So I've driven it a total of three, maybe four times, but three or four, three of those times would have been a five minute trip. And only one time that was actually a decent drive, like commute to Los Angeles. So I'm not gonna say who this guy is in black and black. Yet. Back after him, try to get him standing behind him. He didn't do anything. He fixed it for nothing. Like he didn't fix. It. Maybe he replaced something. Like, oh, to be replaced, I don't. Know. Yeah, it won't even. It but doesn't even. It, it doesn't even. Yeah. No, it's worse. It doesn't even click when I turn it over. Now it's just dead, dead. So she can't leave me here alone. So she can't even go to the damn post. I mean, she leaves me alone to go to the post office, but she can't walk there now because it'd be too long to be away from me. So we I'm literally to having to have a friend drive 40 minutes to get to me to take me to a five minute drive to the post office and back. I miss my car too far to walk. Too far to walk, yeah. So, like I said, thank you so much to any of you that have given, a lot of you have given more than once. Many of you have given more than once. If you can help us out and do anything, the link is there, the book of you is still active. Anything will help us out in a dollar. I don't like these people that, oh, it's got to be 50 bucks, it's got to be 20 bucks. I understand businesses sometimes have to do that, but anything at all helps, we still have to pay for it. The magic walkway that's going to be the uh, yellow brick road out here that will lead me to the studio in March. 
we got the bed paid for it. Thanks to income tax, so we got to pay for that yet. We have to keep the two carpets. Who knows if you guys are standing behind me or not. So if you can help, I appreciate it. You already have it. Thank you so much for doing that. I just wanted to give you some good news and to know that maybe back to March will be at least back to what is the new normal for me. This is a lot better than I've been in a year. Yeah. So thank you guys. And more than you guys, I thank God first. I thank you guys second. I don't think you're my No. All right. Thanks, everyone.